Happy Thanksgiving! So today is Thanksgiving. It's a nice, crisp, cold morning and the streets are empty because obviously it's Thanksgiving. But we are on our way to breakfast. There's only a few places around that are open, but we found a really nice place that we was actually gonna go to the other day, but we ended up going to the other place where Ricky had the blueberries and I had the sandwich. So we're going there. It's our last day in Boston. Tomorrow we'll be getting on the train to New York City. So today's plans, we're gonna go to Harvard. And what else did you say we're gonna do? And we're gonna go to the Boston Tea Party location and see if we can throw some tea off the boat. So as I said, it is Thanksgiving. There is no one walking the streets. There are a few cars driving around but there is no one walking around. So the place that we was going to go to for breakfast is closed because it's Thanksgiving. It did say on Google that it's open, but the hours may differ, but obviously the hours differed and it's closed. So we are walking through the city, blue skies, so beautiful. And we are going to find somewhere else that could be open. Or oh, we're just going to go back to the hotel and have breakfast there. So our breakfast arrived. Ricky's gone for honey with oats. Yum. Breakfast was really nice. I had the bacon, the sausage, eggs, toast. Did you get eggs on the side up or scrambled? Um, my eggs were over medium. Okay. Yeah. And um, what did you eat, Ricky? Uh, porridge. With? Fruit and honey. Porridge with fruit and honey. So after breakfast, no eggs, no eggs for Ricky. No over medium eggs for Ricky. So after breakfast, we are now walking up towards the uh, bank of the river where we were on the first night, if you remember. And we're going to take a nice winter morning Thanksgiving stroll and soak in the crisp air. So we are just getting to the river. It is so cold this morning. My hands are frozen. But look how beautiful this little park is. You can see the autumn leaves. And there is the River Charles, which is what it's called. This is the riverbank that we walked down on our first vlog on the first day. You probably don't recognize it because it was dark when we walked here last time. So we thought we'll do a walk down here whilst it's the light because we hadn't done that. And we do leave tomorrow to go to New York, so it's nice to just see that. This is the River Charles. It's really cold. My hands are really cold. So I'm going to put the vlogging equipment away in a minute until we get to something else. Vloggers wave. There are so many people jogging. I don't know what the obsession with jogging is, but there are... No, thank you. But there are loads of people just jogging down here they have this really cool like stage opposite this grass area i can imagine in the summer this is all packed you could probably have picnics drinks all sitting around and they have like uh people performing on here i'm guessing i don't know if that's a fact but yeah we are now walking through the common it's been such nice weather every single day, which has been great. We didn't want to be here in the rain or, I mean, I wouldn't mind the snow, but definitely not the rain. So we're thankful for the nice weather. So we're walking through the common and we are on our way to the boat where they had the Boston Tea Party. Hello. Hey. Hey. 
So this is the ice rink. I don't know what time it opens, but they play music and everyone skates around. So on the first day, when I pointed out that big pile of ice, which I thought was snow, this is where it comes from. See all the little skate marks. So this is where they had the Boston Tea Party. This is where they had their, they got their independence from Great Britain. They threw the tea off of the boat as a sign of protest because Great Britain was trying to tax them higher for it. And that is a replica boat of the one that was used. I mean, we was planning on going into the museum, but it is Thanksgiving and everything seems to be closed. Even though on the website it said that it um, is open from 10 a.m. It's not. So just taking the view instead. So we've walked over to the holiday market that we was at last night. And it says closed Thanksgiving day. Everything in Boston is closed today. I mean, we should have known and we did, but we're still gonna have a little walk around. Might be a slow vlog day, guys. Ghosty wasty. This guy has an Alaska Malamute and he's only small, but look at his little feet paddling along. So we've come into Starbucks to get some coffee. So Ricky got this snow snowman cookie with a grande latte. I got a tall white mocha, blonde espresso, hazelnut syrup, no whip. Nice, mm -hmm. very nice. What happened to his head? So guys, me and Ricky have just arrived to one of the best universities in the world, Harvard University. We're at Harvard. I'm just gonna enroll. Yeah, so we're just gonna enroll because we're just so smart that they will accept us in a heartbeat. But this is Harvard. Rihanna came here once to do a speech a few years back. Look how big the university is. So these are the dorms. Well, that's a dorm at Harvard University. Look at these turkeys. Gobble, gobble. So these are the Harvard turkeys. Remember, it is Thanksgiving today. So they're lucky to be alive. So we've just got back from Harvard University. Yeah. It was a really good experience. The campus is huge. They have so many different departure departments. Um, but now we're just gonna go and grab some lunch. It's Thanksgiving, so like I said before, everything's closed, but we've managed to find this. That place, which is open. So busy, so let's see if we can get a table. So they have a Levain bakery which i didn't even know they had in boston i thought that was just in new york 
But it is Thanksgiving, so the bakery is closed today. But when we get to New York, we're definitely gonna give that a try. Aren't we, Ricky? <clears throat> After waiting like 45 minutes, we finally got into this restaurant for lunch. Here's the menu. I think I'm gonna go for the burger. So we are gonna share some buffalo wings just to start. And we went for, as an entree, the Cure Burger. Lunch has arrived and they've only given me four fries and I'm not happy about that. Are you happy about that? How was your food, Ricky? It's alright. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay. Not it was, great. It was okay. No. Out. So tonight we're going out to dinner. We're going to um, Gordon Ramsay's kitchen to have our Thanksgiving there. So we spent a few hours in our hotel room. It's now the evening time. We have a dinner reservation at Ramsay's kitchen, which is only about five minutes away. But I ran out of hairspray, so we just pop into the shop so I can get some hairspray because I can't be going to out for dinner with my hair looking like a cockatoo. Got some hairspray, now my hair is looking mighty slick. And that is what I was going for. And on top of that, they had the exact same hairspray that I use in the UK, which is great. And it sprays a little bit nicer as well, like the spray bit. So we're on our way to the dinner now at Ramsey's Kitchen. Beef Wellington. Beef Wellington. It's Thanksgiving, so they're gonna give thanks. We haven't really uh, vlogged much today because we didn't do much. Um, because it's Thanksgiving, everything was closed. We after we done the, um, after we went out this afternoon, we not tomorrow. Came back, yeah. We came back to the hotel and then we just rested for a little bit. And then, but tomorrow we've got lots planned. We're up early. We're getting the train to New York. So that will be a vlog not to miss. So our table isn't ready until seven. So we're just sitting at the bar and we're gonna have a little drink before the table's ready. Smile. So this is the menu. We've got the beef wellington with mushrooms and mac and cheese. This is Gordon Ramsay's famous beef wellington. Be right back with a few spoons for you. Yes, yes please. please. We've just finished our dinner. It was really good. Beef wellington, amazing as usual. Um, the sticky toffee pudding was just like it always is at any Ramsey restaurant. And yeah. that is... I made one before, didn't I did make one before. One was like a brick. One was like but one was really nice and it actually tasted quite similar to that one. But that is our time in Boston. Finished, over and done with. Back to the hotel now. We've got a pack. Our train is at 7.20 in the morning. And yeah, we've had a great time. My first time in Massachusetts. It's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. New York City, we'll see you tomorrow. Right guys, so our bags are packed and tomorrow we'll be taking the train to New York City. Our trip to Boston has come to an end and it has been such an experience. I've learned so many historical facts about America and me and Ricky have done some really, really fun and nice things together. But tomorrow we'll be going to a whole new state and a whole new city and I can't wait to see what New York has to offer for us as well. Um, bags are packed, trains at 7.20, so make sure you catch up on all of the vlogs to come. But for now, it's going to have to be a good night again. Thanks for watching.